Okay, we're back working on our book, and we're going to work on um, what is assigned as page three. Um, one of the good things about this project is you can actually put the pages on any page you want to. You you know change the order if you want to. Um, okay, so you're going to have a couple of sets of pieces here. First, you're going to have um, an eight by eight square, and again, you're going to see a little hole here, and that's going to be for um, a closure. So I'm going to make that closure now. The other closures that I did, I only put three pieces of cardstock, um, but I think this time I'm actually going to put four just to make it a little bit stronger. So again, all we're doing is just putting some glue on here. Oops. And gluing four layers of the closure together. Just poke that little hole out there. And then I'm going to put on top of the four layers uh, a design piece. Now these pieces are designed that it doesn't matter um, they're symmetrical, it doesn't matter which side you glue, they'll fit. Okay. All right, so we're going to get that closure together, and then I'm just going to grab a little brad here. Okay, so stick the brad in there, and I'm going to put it in the hole on my page. So you're just going to get that on there like that. And then your closure will turn. Okay, so then the first page that we're going to work on is going to be um, the larger page. And you'll have two pieces that go on that page. And then one of the pieces has the score mark. So we're just going to fold this on the score mark. And we're going to glue the cover pieces to it. And you'll be able to use these for um, pictures or, you know, anything you want to put from your trip or vacation or if you do a completely different book, whatever it is. Okay, so we're just going to glue both sides of that down. Okay, then we're going to put some glue on the inside of this fold and we're going to glue it to the center of our background paper. So I'm just going to try something new. I'm trying the tacky glue um, because it's hard for me to get the scotch glue that I like. So we're trying this glue and I'm hoping that it works well and is strong enough hold my book together. Okay, so I'm just going to line this up, center it. And you can see our little closure will then go over the top like that. Okay, then we have two other closures. We're going to have, um, I mean, two other pieces. We're going to have a big one and a small one, and these are going to sit right on top. So, um, what we're going to do is the larger one is going to go on the left side. So, I'm just going to fold that on the score mark, and again, we have another hole for a closure. So, I'm going to just glue one of those together again, really quickly. Okay, so I have my closure glued together, and um, I'm going to take this piece right here, and you have um, 
two cover pieces that will go on the front and the back. Um, so what I want to do actually is before I put this piece on, I also gave you this and you can place this anywhere you like. You can put it if you wanted to. You could um, attach it here underneath this paper here. I'm going to put mine on this one. So I'm just going to, it has two little tabs. I'm just going to put some glue on the tabs. page here. And what that will do is that will allow you to stick some pictures in there or something like that if you want to. Okay, so then um, I'm going to get my closure stuck in here. Okay, I'm just going to grab a brad, stick that through. And then, oops, let's see. Okay, so then what I want to do is before I glue this down, I'm actually going to take the smaller piece and fold that on the edge here. And get some glue on the inside here. I'm going to glue it to the inside of my piece here. Gonna fold down like that. Okay. And then this piece is going to sit on here, right, right there. I'm going to put some glue on the back of here. centered on there like that. Okay, and then this closure is going to hold this piece down. So when we open this, this is actually going to open, so I want to put this design piece on the back of here. And then I also cut some little pieces that will match to go on the swirl here. Might be easier if you glue this down before you glue the other page on. Should have done that, I guess. 
Okay. And then you're going to have the cover pieces and edge pieces for this piece. So what I want to do is I'm going to put this on the cover here like this. And then you're going to have the same thing on the inside with some trim pieces. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a pocket in the front here. So you're going to have a piece that looks like this pocket. And you're just going to fold each one of the little score marks inside here. I'm just going to get some glue on there. Later on we can make some tags or something to put inside. Okay, so you're just going to kind of hold those closed like that. And this is just going to sit right in the front of here, like that. Give that a good rub. And then I'm just going to glue the decorative piece that goes over the front. Okay, so now what we need to do is we're going to put some glue along the inside of here. And this is going to fold onto the left side of our background page. And we're going to try and get that centered. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to put this under some heavy books, but basically how the page will work is you'll have this closure here. We'll have a pocket, so you undo the closure, and then this will open up. And then when you close that up, it will open again. And then you have another closure, which will give you much more space. Okay, so that's page number three. and. We will install it a little bit later, but we will be back with the page number four coming next. Thanks for watching.